I cannot wait to meet him. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you wanna do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. Well, I know you. You're Sam Coe. The Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. 
I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Security around here is a You planning joke. to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> the hell am I shocked the game was making that. fools of us all? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. Glad I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also... There are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator. Don't shoot. Hands where I can see him, and don't try nothing. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Uh, it, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Then persuade the Marshal that it ain't. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Damn it! I didn't think of it that way. Maybe you're right. Nobody gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. It's up to the Marshal to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. You've got my girlfriend. I heard every word. Hurt. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position.
Now you'd be wasting your time. Or worse, it'd make them angry. No sense risking that. I appreciate your idealism. But there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. The you can walk Get away out. from is a good one. To the victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right? I heard the fight. The hostages. Are they safe? That's 
That's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Free Star Collective. They're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them too. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier... Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this? Yeah, well, I don't gotta say it. I know, it's just... It's personal. Can't we just leave it? Look, I'm done talking. You'll find out soon enough, okay? Let's just get going. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. A mirror wolf at the low house could really use someone helpful like you. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay. This was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. 
You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> well, it's not your place to butt in. Yeah, I hope so. You know what? I may be starting to like you. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Private sector. No, that's where the real money's at.
All right. This is Shaw Gang territory. And they're usually not willing to talk. Grizzly, but part of the job. I guess we scared him off. Not taking me. You think you can hide from me, asshole? There you are. to tango. Damn it! Hits here. Uh. Smugglers are as common as fleas.
I keep wondering if one day some explorer is going to find alien writing in a cave like this. Get ourselves a nice cozy camp and have a good time in a cave. Hey, you dropped it. Wait, you meant to do that? I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Sam Co in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Do I look like I care? What happens to you? Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. You got past a few rookies, that's all. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! Shoot everything! 
afraid your time's coming up. My friend? Ha! Ah! Thought you could hide, huh? What was that? In one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge.
Should we warn them about the Ashita? We got a big old sign. Danger. If they go for them, they should. Your next stop wouldn't be the Charybdis system, would it? We got a report of a I heard Mr. Wright's going to be looking for an apprentice soon. I actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. He lost an eye in the process, but he did walk away with a pile of credits. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? Over here. There's something we need to discuss. Look, I wouldn't be out here chasing you down if it wasn't important. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. What are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. There are 58 items on the reminder list. You know where to find us. Starting from the top.